Welcome to the hijacked support training page. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get started with hijacked and what the system comprises of. So with hijacked, you're going to be able to create fantastic higher ticket affiliate funnels. So these are funnels that are going to take a viewer through to purchase a product and these products are higher ticket. So these are products that are in excess of $500, $1,000, and you're going to be getting, you know, 50% commission. So putting in the effort to try and convert viewers into customers is so much more beneficial because the commissions are so much higher. So let's just take a look at the campaign section and accessed on the left hand side menu. We're going to see that there's a variety of campaigns already ready and set up for you. You just need to do a few connection things to make sure that it's all set up specifically for you. So let's just take a look at these um, funnels. So we click on the publish button. We can see that there are three pages, squeeze, webinar and download. So just viewing the first page, we've got a opt-in page, which has been designed specifically for the, the high conversion of right now. So these are the opt-in pages that are converting at the highest rate right now, okay? So we've designed all of them to fit this system, okay? And as you'll see, um, the user can come here, they can see, we can see that, you know, there's some scarcity on the homepage, information about what the uh, the webinar is about, they can click on the button, they can register, okay? And then by doing this, they will be taken to the next step of the funnel, which is actually the web class, all right? Now, here's something we've built into these systems that not many people are using, okay? And what this is, is we've, we've, we've introduced a automatic redirect if someone gives intention to leave. So you've done all the hard work to drive people to these pages and the fact that they've clicked through to the page shows that there is some sort of interest. But sometimes we know, sometimes we see a page and we're like, I haven't got time for this or whatever, okay? I'm not interested. And they show intention to leave by basically moving their mouse up to click back, all right? And once they cross the page off, that's it, they've gone. You have, you've lost that user forever, okay? Now what we've done is, is when, the, when intention is shown to use, we automatically send the user to the second page. This is the second page, okay? So they've gone through to the web class page, which they can then watch. We just missed out on the opt-in, but they were leaving anyway, so we weren't gonna get their opt-in. This way we sent them across to the class, they can watch, they, they still may become a customer. Okay, so that's the magic here. So you can see on this page, we've got the web class that they can watch at their leisure, more scarcity, and we've got the button which goes through to our affiliate link. Okay, our affiliate link, right? Now, when they try to leave, again here, if they do, before finishing it or buying it, whatever it may be, they're hit with another exit pop, which basically says, if you continue, we are gonna get a number of freebies, okay? And, you know, we've just got this button, let me continue, and they can continue watching it, as simple as that. Now these, those freebies will be delivered via your autoresponder, which we'll discuss in a few moments, right? So that's that, so that's simple. Here, as I said, this is the button, that's your affiliate link. They've got the ability to watch it and, you know, scarcity to help them make the decision. So going back to the system here, you can see we've got the download page, which you can look at. And here we've got some buttons to download, some freebies that we offered. But on this page, we've also put in an, a, a button here to send people back, to send people back to the training. And if they click here, get back to the web class because on the web class there's the button to buy and that's the really important thing so it's all about you know driving people to this page constantly um, that's really really important okay 
So let's move across and talk about, you know, setting up your campaigns. So you can see under the campaigns, um, you know, we've also got the bonus campaigns if you've got those ones as well. You can see these are the products that we can promote. So if we go to affiliate link here, you're going to see there is uh, links for both campaign and bonus links. You'll click on one of them. And then you'll choose the one that you were going to promote. So just that was one we were just on. You can click on this button. Now this is going to take you outside of our system and it's going to take you to the JV page of the product. Here, you're going to be able to get your affiliate link. Okay. So it might be on ClickBank. It might be on Warrior Plus. It might be on Digistore24. Whatever it is, you're going to be able to go to those sites. You're going to be able to sign up and you're going to get a, you're going to get your affiliate link. Okay. You're going to get your affiliate link and you're going to copy that and then you're going to come back. So once you've got that affiliate link, you're going to come back. You're going to click on your campaigns. And then you're going to go to the product you're promoting and click on edit. So once you're in here, you're going to click uh, where it says affiliate link and you're going to paste in your affiliate link here. Okay. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you can click save changes. So that was it. Your affiliate link is now saved. Now, one thing that is important is obviously to connect up your autoresponder, okay, which can be set up here. Now, what you will do is you will click on these three buttons here at the top. You'll go down to integrations, and this is where you're going to be able to make a connection to one of a number of different autoresponders. So there's loads of autoresponders here. Um, we've got Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, et cetera, et cetera, Sendio, Constant Contact. And what we do here is we want to create a connection using the API of these third party companies. So they're all different because they're different. These are all different companies. So they've got different setups, different systems. So when we click and connect, you can see there's some steps. We need an authorization code for Aweber. If we get a response, we want the API key, MailChimp, an API key, active campaign wants an API key and account. So and so forth. Okay. So there's loads of, um, there's loads of different ways to connect it up. Right. Now, once you've done that, you've made a connection. We can go back to our campaigns. Now, if you've got an autoresponder that doesn't have, that isn't listed here, you can still use it and we'll show you in a second. So go out to campaigns. We click on edit. And you'll connect up here to one of the ones that you have connected. And then you're going to be able to choose the list that you've created within your account. If you don't have one of those, you can click raw HTML, go into your respond and all ultra responders will be able to create a form with a HTML code. Okay. Now moving forward from this beneath this video, there'll be a button to watch a full in depth tutorial about auto responders, how to set them up how to set up the list, all the important things that you need. So if that's something you need to watch, make sure you click on the button below. Okay. Um, and obviously what you're going to want to do is in your autoresponder, you're going to set up your first email to deliver the bonus link. Okay. So let's just go out to campaigns and just show you that link. So you know exactly what we're talking about. So when we click on here, you can see that you've got the download page URL. We're going to be able to copy that. And then we're going to be able to draft an email to deliver that to, because we've got the opt-in, we've got the email address. We'll set it up so that once someone comes onto the list, we automatically send them an email and say, this is your, your download, check it out. And the beauty is, as we mentioned, is that on the download page, there's a link back to the presentation so they can watch it again. So it works dual purpose. Okay. So this was the uh, setup page uh, for Hijacked. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Beneath this video, there will be some supplementary videos that talk about uh, some of the other things that you will need to know and going over some of the things that we've mentioned in this video.